I'm Natalie Majuri and I believe in a lot of things. I believe that peanut butter shouldn't be crunchy and that Lord of the Rings Two Towers is one of the best films ever made. I believe that blue is the best color in the rainbow and that family comes first. I believe that honesty is the best policy, people should be able to break out into full Broadway numbers whenever they please, and that navy and black should rarely be worn together. Thanks to the darkness, I believe in a big most of all, I believe that everyone is entitled to an opinion and the right to express it so. As I was watching the Oscars, I was bouncing with excitement after the performance that Les Miserables cast had put on, singing One Day More to Honor musicals. I thought they had been incredible, not only on stage, but in the movie as well. When my friend turned to me afterwards saying, I heard Les Mis wasn't even that good, my family hated it. I wanted to lunge at him from across the room and shove soap in his mouth for such a blasphemous statement. Wanted. But I didn't because it was his and his family's opinion. It wasn't wrong and I wasn't right. We weren't stating facts and telling him he was wrong would be infringing on his right to speak his mind and be an individual. While there are opinions of others that I may strongly disagree with, I have to admire their abilities to make them, because they do so proudly, which in turn allows me to make my own and stand by them. If I wasn't allowed the privilege to infinitely state what my values, beliefs, and likes and dislikes are, I wouldn't be me. I'd be a lifeless drone following the path of a crowd. Thankfully, that's not the case. I am able to tell the world that I have an infatuation with Harry Potter, that I hate when people are consistently late, and that I think pickles are gross. While I have no problem expressing how I feel about many things, there are also some opinions I carry that are not told as often, due to embarrassment, shame, or judgment. I believe that I, as well as everyone else, should be able to converse over all things that they hold within, without having to feel bad, awkward, or insecure. We've been granted full rights of freedom of speech, yet we bar each other and ourselves. Living in Missouri, I am put down for being a White Sox fan, and for thinking toasted ravioli is an insult to Italian culture. However, I choose to stand by what I think and feel because I can. Opinions bring diversity, and they spark intelligent conversation, imagination, and curiosity. While they differ from person to person, causing both strife and bonding, they should be honored and allowed in all situations. And that is what I believe.